Hi, my name is George Baraka and I'm a plastic surgeon. I specialize in cosmetic surgery and my office is on Park Avenue and 78th Street in Manhattan. I recently wrote a chapter for a textbook and the title of the chapter was The Pursuit of Excellence in Cosmetic Surgery. I concluded that you want a plastic surgeon uh, with a good eye. You have to be able to visualize the anatomy, you have to be able to visualize the problem that needs to be corrected, and most important, you have to be able to visualize the result in your mind's eye. Because if you can't see it in your head, you're not going to be able to deliver the great result. The other thing that's critical, you might think, are with the hands. The hands are seldom the limiting factor. You need stamina, determination, and infinite attention to detail because this is sculpture. You can't rush through it. You can't think, I have three more cases to do today, so I must finish this operation. That's not the way to get a good result. Time is of the essence. Attention to detail is of the essence. You can't quit until it's either perfect or as close to perfect as you can get it. I tell my residents, whom I train, I train residents and fellows in cosmetic surgery, and I tell them that very often one can tell whether the patient is going to have a wonderful result or not before the patient ever gets to the operating room. Because if the surgeon does not have a good detailed plan before the patient gets to the operating room, then it's a matter of luck what the result is like. So spending a lot of time during the consultation examining the patient, understanding what the patient wants, and coming up with an individual detailed surgical plan are critical. I'm board certified in plastic surgery, but that's become almost a cliche. Of course, you need to be board certified. Uh, you also need much more than that. Uh, you need a plastic surgeon who specializes in cosmetic surgery. I belong to several societies that are dedicated exclusively to cosmetic surgery. You want a surgeon who does a lot of the operations that you are going to have done. I went to both undergraduate and medical school at Columbia University. Uh, where I was no, number one in my medical school class. Uh, then I trained uh, in general surgery at Johns Hopkins Hospital, and I trained in plastic surgery at the New York uh, Hospital uh, Cornell Medical Center. I've been doing cosmetic surgery for over 20 years. I do most of the surgery uh, in our accredited surgical suite, uh, which is uh, built right next to my office. Uh, and most of the surgery is done on an outpatient basis. There is uh, convenience, uh, uh, there's privacy, there's almost no paperwork. So it's a much more pleasant environment in which to have surgery. One of the requirements for having an accredited surgical suite uh, is that you must have uh, privileges at good local hospitals for the same procedures that you do in your office. I'm on the staff at uh, Lenox Hill Hospital and uh, Manhattan Eye, Ear and Throat Hospital. We do uh, patients in the hospital who prefer to be done in the hospital or if they have a significant uh, medical problem. One last uh, but very important point is that I do all of the surgery on all of my patients myself. I have a wonderful staff. One of the first people that you will meet uh, when you come in for a consultation is Elida Rowe. She is my uh, patient coordinator. She will really guide you by the hand through all the stages of the process. Uh, then we have a wonderful nurse. Her, her name is Maria Lacava, who uh, does all of the pre- and post-operative care. She has a team of nurses. Um, if you want a private nurse for the immediate post-operative period. So we try to think of all of the patient's needs so that the experience uh, is as uh, simple and easy as possible. I do have a, a substantial part of my practice that is from out of town, so we have a whole system in place to make that as easy as possible on the patient. Uh, we have arrangements with local hotels where uh, they will uh, provide the right facilities and at a discounted rate. We have a team of trained by me, train the private nurses who provide the immediate uh, post-operative care. We, we are sort of familiar with how to take you by the hand from the time you make the initial phone call to the time you're ready to go back home. 
with a minimal of stress. The only thing that uh, is more important to me than uh, my practice is my family. Um, I have a wonderful wife who is a psychotherapist and uh, she shares uh, the office with me. Uh, and um, we have three wonderful sons. Uh, here they are. Uh, and they're the, the light of our life. Uh, and um, we live a couple of blocks uh, from our office. Um, so it's a, a little community that we work in.